Well, hello, uh, and welcome back to part two of Bob's second weekly COVID community quiz. And this is where you get onto general knowledge, and we get onto a little bit of sport, not too much, just a little bit of sports. Um, now, um, hopefully, you did well on the music, um, so the theme tunes and the song intros, and you've tucked up your scores and you've put those in the comments section on YouTube. You're going to have to do another 50 questions now. Uh, try and do it fairly quick. Remember, you can pause as you go along. You can always go back. Uh, much as you'd like to, you can't mute me, though, because you won't be able to hear the questions. But, hey, let's get in the zone now, though. Uh, let's have a little bit of background music just to get us going. I'm like Bamba Gascoigne, I am, uh, whoever does that now. Right, so question one, let's get going. Are you ready? Question one, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Mm. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? I think some of you know. Um, oh, let's get that light out. Um, question two, Maurice Micklewhite is the real name of which British film legend? That's right. Maurice Micklewhite. Oh, God, why, my love? Oh, why, why? <laughs> um, that wasn't an impression, by the way. Um, question three. In the children's TV series, which actress plays the role of Tracy Beaker? Hmm. You're thinking of Beaker off the Muppets now, aren't you? It's nothing to do with them. Question four. In which TV series would you have come across the following names? Evie Oddly, Aquaria, and Sasha Valour. It's not James Bond. Repeat the names Evie Oddly, Aquaria, and Sasha Valour. Question five. Name the three female characters in the board game Cluedo. Um, no checking your board game. No cheats now. Cheaters are bleeders. Bleaters, not bleeders. Um, now some multiple choice questions for you. Question six. Lepidoptery, that's lepidoptery, is the collecting of what? Is it A, butterflies? Is it B, flowers? Oh, beautiful. Or is it C, Chinese vases? <laughs> Smash! Hello, Ernie. Um, so is it A, so this is lepidoptery, is it either A, Butterflies? Is it B? Flowers? Nice. Or is it C? Way? Chinese vases. Question seven. In ten pin bowling, you know, in ten pin bowling, um, the maximum score is A, 300, B, 320, or is it C, 346? You've got maximum score in 10-pin bowling. Is it A, 300? Is it B, 320? Or is it C, 346? And then question eight. This is an easy one to get you an easy point. What are the Canary Islands named after? Is it A, cats? Meow. Is it B, dogs? A rough. Or is it C, birds? A tweed, a tweed, tweed. So what are the Canary Islands named after? Is it A, cats, meow, meow. Is it B, dogs, a rough. Or is it C, birds? <coughs> Question, uh, can I just say, my dog Ernie is staring in at me, looking like I'm a lunatic for some reason, but there you go. Question nine. In The Sound of Music, how many Von Trapp children were there? Hmm, not a film I've actually seen. Question ten. Who won the last UK... I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here! Competition. I'm just giving you a pause there. Uh, that, that's a dramatic pause. Question 11. If Claire, if you're playing, this is one for you. How many players are there in a netball team? How many players in a netball team? Question 12. In which sport would you come across a Boston crab? Boston Crab, what sport would that be? Question 13. 
How many numbers are there on a roulette wheel? Count them, count them. How many numbers are there on a roulette wheel? Question 14. An orchidometer, or an orchidometer, orchidometer, is a medical instrument, actually Dave, this is probably one for you, is a medical instrument used to measure which part of the male body? Oh, it's a bit of a cheeky question. It's at the bottom. Um, question 15. Americans call it eggplant, or eggplant, eggplant. What do we call it in the UK? So if you've gone out shopping in Hensford Town, what would you call it? You wouldn't call it eggplant, would you? Question 16. Uh, one for Heidi and Tush, if you're playing over there uh, in somewhere or other. Uh, well, I'll, say not, I'll say not where. I bet not identify where you are, but uh, probably have by the question. What is the capital of Saudi Arabia? Question 17. Listen carefully. Which is the longest river that runs entirely through England. So not Wales, not Scotland, forget over there, Northern Ireland, runs entirely in England, which is the longest. Question 18, uh, easy question for you children out there and for you Italians out there. Which Italian novel for children has been translated into over 240 languages? 240 languages, the Italian novel for children? Didn't even know there were 240 languages. Thought there must be about seven or eight. Right, question 19. Um, actually, this person, this question about, is my cousin. So question 19, Canadian singer Celine Dion represented which country at the 1988 Eurovision Song Contest with the song Ne Parte Pas Son Moi? Repeat that. The song she had at the Eurovision Song Contest was Ne Parte Pas on moi. And while you're trying to remember what country you represented, perhaps it'll help if I bring the song back for you. Ne party pas on moi. Ne party pas on moi. Ne party sa blah 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 blah. So that was Canadian singer Celine, Celine Dion there representing a country, the 88 Eurovision Song Contest. Which country? Question 20. Which food additive, if you're a vegetarian or vegan, please look away. Which food additive is made from the bones and skin of animals? Ooh. Question 21. Which food of the gods is said to bestow immortality? Question 22. What is placed in a pocket of beef in order to make a carpet bag steak? Hmm. Andy, you like your bit of cooking, can you get this? So what's placed in a pocket of beef in order to make a carpet bag steak? 23. What number am I thinking of? Between 0 and 5. Right, question 24. PB is the chemical symbol for what? Now come on. Ben Hodgkinson, if you're playing this at the moment, you should know this because you study this stuff like this. Easy peasy. PB is the chemical symbol for what? <coughs> and it ain't Paddington Bear. <coughs> Question 25. We'll hit the halfway point now. For what have Snoop Dogg, Naomi Campbell, David Hasselhoff and Gerard Depardieu, for what have they all been arrested? Hmm. Interesting question. What have they all been arrested for? Naomi Campbell, Gerard Depardieu, David Hasselhoff and Snoop Dogg. Question 26. In motor racing, in motor racing, what does a black flag signal? And it ain't anything to do with pirates. So what does a black flag signal? Arr! Question 27. What is the name of the sign language used by the bookies at race courses? Ow. Oh, ow. Actually, that did hurt. Um, so what is the name of the sign language used by bookies at race courses? Back to some multiple choice now. 28. Coprostastophobia. That's coprostastophobia. Is the fear of what? Is it A, constipation? Ooh. Is it B, erectile dysfunction? Ooh. Is it C, bladder leakage? Oh. 
So, coprostatophobia is the fear of what? A. Constipation. B. Erectile dysfunction. Or C. Bladder leakage. Easy. Um, question 29. Which English monarch died on the toilet? Is it A. Elizabeth I? B. Is it George II? Or C. Is it Edward III? So they died on the toilet. It was either A. Lizzie I. It was either B. Georgie II. Or C. Eddie III. And just one more multiple choice. Question 30. How many rounds, how many rounds did Mike Tyson take to finish off Frank Bruno? Who are we? Frank Bruno in Las Vegas in 1989. Was it A, three rounds? Was it B, four rounds? Or was it C, five rounds? Right, question 31. Um, this is um, an English football legend's anagram. So write down the word and then you've got to find mixed letters up to find out who this is. So it's an English football legend. And the anagram is Dragon Knobs. That's Dragon Knobs. K-N-O-B-S, Dragon Knobs. Question 32. Who is the President of France? Oh, Zutalor. Question 33. In which Northern European country uh, are there six villages called Silly, 12 villages called Billy, and two villages called Pratt? Now, come on, the phase. You should get this. In which Northern Euro European country there's six villages called Silly, 12 called Billy, and two called Pratt. Silly Billy Pratt's come on, new phase. Question 34. Now, if you dug a hole, right, uh, uh, from New Zealand, so through the centre of the earth, from New Zealand's capital city, straight through, so you're digging, right, digging all the way straight through the earth, which European city would you come up in? Straight through, which European city? I know got the answers. Uh, question 35. Now, um, Jules and Simon, if you did get up at 6am in the morning to play this in Melbourne, uh, then this one's for you. Um, which marsupial, uh, and this, by the way, it might seem an obvious question, but you really need to think about this one. Which, which marsupial sleeps for up to 19 hours a day um, and lives off a diet of almost exclusively eucalyptus leaves? Which marsupial does that? Not that obvious. Question 36. Who is Scooby-Doo's four human companions? That's right. It's four human companions. Um, you've got to get all four of them or you don't get no point. Question 37. If you were playing Monopoly, and I'm talking about the original London version of Monopoly, what are the four stations? What are the four stations? None of your Simpsons rubbish. This is the London version. What are the four stations? Uh, you've got to get all four again to get your point. Question 38. Who wrote Dracula? <laughs> oh, a vampire, innit? Um, who wrote Dracula? Question 39. Now, uh, imagine, if you will, for a moment, you're in the Oxford and Cambridge boat race uh, and you're gliding down the Thames and you're thinking, hurrah, hurrah, we've won this, we've won this. Now, where does the boat race finish? It's no good saying the Thames. Where does it actually finish? Question 40. Uh, here's one for all your darts players, your aspiring Jockey Wilsons out there. In darts, what number under 100 is it not possible to finish with just two darts? I'll say that again. In darts, what number under 100 is it not possible to finish with just Two darts. Question 41. X take that star and let's, let's be honest, heartthrob, Jason Orange. What was his birth name? That's it, Jason Orange. What was he called at birth? Question 42. Let's ask the same question this time for Elton John. What was he called at birth? Elton John. What was the rocket man called at birth? Question 43. How many drafts are there on the board at the start of a game? Come on, you can work it out from the squares and that. How many drafts at the start of a game? Question 44. Which actress was the mother of Carrie Fisher? You know Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia. Use the force, Luke! Um, yeah, so who, who, who was her mother, basically? Who was an actress? Question 45. Uh, one for all you ladies out there. Um, 
Who is older, Ant or Deck? So, Ant or Deck. Question 46. How many legs does an aardvark have? I'll repeat that. How many legs does an aardvark have? Question 47. In the Rocky films, which I haven't seen, what was the name of Rocky's trainer? Not the trainer he wore on his foot, his actual boxing trainer. Question 48. One for all you foodies out there. Um, what herb do you find in green pesto? Maybe you find more than one, but this is the primary herb. So what herb do you find in green pesto? Or as the Italians call it, pesto. Um, question 49. And it's a football question. So you footy fans, here you are at last. Who was the BBC Women's Footballer of the Year in 2020? I'll give you a clue. No, well, I'm not going to give you a clue. Um, question 50, right, this is the last one. Now, right, really get ready for this. You've got to gear up for this question. This is a complete the lyric question. I'm going to give you the lyric from a song. You've got to complete it, but you haven't just got to complete it. I don't want just the next line. Do write the next line down. But whether you're playing alone or you're playing with other people, you are, you could get bonus points here. Basically, you've got to sing it with gusto. As soon as I've done the bit, you've got to sing it. Uh, if you can get up and dance, you can do anything. You've just got to go crazy here. Just go absolutely nuts and really show your theatrical side. Really want to see that dancing, OK? So here we are. So remember, you're going to be scoring yourself, but you could get some extra points here. So complete this lyric. Mamma mia, here I go again. I'll carry on talking, but hopefully you're, you're now just doing this really, 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 really impressive thing. You've still got to get the next line right, um, I think. Actually, I don't really care. Um, yes, no, you do need to get the next line right and have that written down, but you could get extra points. So anyway, that's the end of the quiz. Um, sort out your answers. Get them all down there. Uh, and then go on to the YouTube channel, Bob's YouTube channel, um, and check out the answers on a separate video. Okay, see you in a minute.